All right guys, so this is a little different video than I normally would do, but Maserati actually just released the full pictures specifications and um, now you're able to spec the new 2018 Gran Turismo and the uh, Gran Cabrio and the MC. So um, you get right here on the um, right hand side, the red, that is the MC version um, with the more aggressive hood that you can spec out in carbon, also has different wheels or whatnot. Um, the Grand, Grand Cabrio now, we see pictures of that finalized. Um, the more flat hood there just has, you know, the center pieces there, but it doesn't have the nostril like um, like the MC does. So now we have a full, um, you know, onslaught of what we can do with the car. And we now know what the back looks like, what the interior looks like, all that stuff. So actually, we're going to, let's see, go to models here. And... You see the Grand Cabrio down here and a Gran Turismo. Now we're going to go and discover more of the Gran Turismo. And you got a nice little picture right there in the middle of the car. Um, you know, lets you know everything. We have a side profile now. We have the Sport, which I was telling you is a little different. Has a flat hood, different wheels, and the MC there different wheels with the more aggressive hood and I think it has more options. MC has the MC package. Um, you can add the MC pedals, um, the side sills, the carbon bucket seats, all that kind of stuff. So we'll get to that in a second. Another beautiful picture. That, oh, that might be a kind of spec I'd go for. Oh, that's another one. Let's see, there's a little slideshow here. So that's what the rear looks like now. It's a little bit more redefined. It looks a lot like the previous version, but it's got a little bit more curves and it kind of flows more with the car. So now we finally know what the rear design, redesign looks like along with the front. What are you guys thinking? Those are some awesome pictures. So just letting you more, uh, letting you know more info about the car more pictures I'm gonna get to the nitty-gritty of you know the real stuff in a second here because you want to know the numbers not much has changed the interior has changed only in the infotainment section wise in the center here now let me see if I can get a better picture okay so you can see the big screen now that comes with the 2017 models um, for Maserati in the middle now so that's a nice big flush screen they redesigned for the center also they redesigned the layout here and they put a, the um, infotainment um, dial there as well that you know is a lot easier to use with the infotainment system but as you can see the wheels not the wheels sorry <laughs> the seats and the interior hasn't changed much as far as a redesign goes um, but I mean it looks good so there's a better picture of the dial there different button layout the big screen looks really good and this has a carbon package with Alcantara that's a really good uh, spec which is what I'll probably end up specking I'll probably do um, my my um, dream spec and it'll probably look something like that the engine is exactly the same as the old one so you see it's it's that same engine it's not the re, the, um, re uh, freshed V8 that the Quattro Porte GTS has it is the Gran Turismo engine and you can see 4.7 liter V8, um, 460 horsepower, 520 newton meters of torque, 7,500 RPMs. So it's pretty much the same um, as far as that goes. And there you go, another picture of it again. So let's build one. Let's get to the fun part um, so you guys can see the actual options and stuff that you can build with this car. We're going to go for the full Monte, go for the MC. And that looks good right off the back. So that is what it would look like there. Off the back. And that's your base model, just there. For MC, as you get those MC wheels. Um, we'll probably change a few things around though, so we'll see. Um, I'm going to probably keep this No, nah, there's Bianco Eldorado, Bianco Fuji, Bianco Birdcage. Uh, Giorgio, uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna butcher all these Italian names, guys, I'm sorry. 
That's a little darker. I think I'm gonna go for Bianco Birdcage. You guys already know what kind of specs I like. If you're if you're not new here, you know what I like as far as that goes. So now the interior is there and your options and stuff. So we'll st we'll stick with the exterior for now. Okay, so we'll go to wheels because we already got the body there. All right, so you see those wheels only come in that color. The MC wheels there. And you'll see the difference in all these here. They're all 20 inch wheels for the MC design. I'm probably gonna have to go with these. These are my favorite. Those look really cool. Um, I just like the black. Like I said, you guys know my style, so <laughs> I like the black and that looks really sinister. We'll go to brake calipers here. Also, you guys know I like red. There's two different Rosso's here. So the one that's currently on is this one here. I'm just gonna go with normal Rosso, so you'll see it's a little bit brighter. It pops a little bit more on that black. And we're gonna scroll over to the inside, get to um, the part you're gonna spend the most in the car is the inside. So I feel like the inside of your car should be very special to you because like I said, you're gonna spend most of your time here. So let's see, I'm probably, there's all your different leathers here. Um, you know what, you know which one I'm going for. You already know it. Watch it change to red. So yeah, red is the color for me. That looks awesome. Like I said, it pops the red and white. looks good with the black. Um, you can do seat backrest cover. So I am probably going to just go with the Alcantara. So you see this here, this part, and you'll see in the inside of the seat right here, you can see it better, the inside of the seat. We're gonna choose Alcantara. And you can choose different colors of Alcantara, but you see how it changed? Now it's all black Alcantara in there. You can do different colors here too. But we're gonna go with the Nero. All right. So now you can go to trim and you'll see right here where the mouse is and right here and right above here is the trim and it'll be on the other side of the car as well. I'm gonna change it to carbon fiber. So watch those pieces there change over to carbon fiber. See now, a lot brighter with the carbon. So I'm gonna go with the carbon fiber trim. The dashboard, right up here. We're gonna change that because it's all black here. Let's give it a little bit more color. I'm gonna try to get it to match the seats. I'm gonna go with Rosso. Yep, so okay, there we go. So see all this right here change to red, to red. So I like that. You got the red here, black, or red here, carbon, black, red, you know, black up here, red on the sides. I like that, red, carbon, black. Like I said, it's looking a lot like my, my spec um, of my Ghibli right now um, with the Zygna package, but a lot better. <laughs> Steering wheel, all right. So you can't see it that well here. We'll probably get a different view of it later but you can do the full leather or Alcantara package. Um, check here, look here now. I'm gonna change it to carbon fiber. Since we got carbon going on, we're gonna stay with that scheme. Carbon fiber. See how it changed right here on the top? Now it's carbon fiber on the top, down here. So it's kind of hard to see, like I said, from that view, but we changed that to carbon fiber. Headliner, you'll keep that to black. Um, carpet, keep that to black. Stitching. Okay, so now we're moving over to the seats and the stitching. Um, you can do crotch, <laughs> crotch, contrasting stitching, which let's uh, choose contrasting stitching. And now you can choose the colors down there. So you'll see it, all the stitching just turned to white. So all the white spots right here, that was just red, but now it's white since we chose contrasting stitching. So you can change it to a lot of colors here. Um, I might change it to this Giorgio Chrono. And let's see what happens. Okay, so now it's a lot darker. I kind of like that because it matches with the Alcantara there. So I think that's a really good look. Um, I'm gonna stick with that there. Or, oh wait, never mind. You can do stitching Alcantara here. And there you go. So the stitching is Alcantara. So it matches up. And the seat belts. Um, I guess you can just only do Nero or Giorgio there. Um, like I said, if I'm butchering these, I'm sorry. 
<laughs> so now you can go down here to more options and you can do the MC Sportline options with the carbon fiber hood. You got the interior carbon package, which I was telling you about those MC Sportline uh, door cells. And you got the carbon bucket seats. We're gonna add those carbon bucket seats because that's just awesome. Might as well add the package there. And then let's do the carbon fiber bonnet just for, you know, craps and giggles. Oh, carbon fiber mirrors too, why not? And you gotta do those, oh, the MC pedals are already on there, probably with uh, um, one of these packages I already picked and already selected for me. So that's cool. Exterior equipment, um, you got a car cover. I mean, normally we probably wanna get that. We you Probably indoor, and I think they probably wanna make an indoor, I'm not sure, but you won't keep this thing outside. Um, Headlights with light look finish. Uh, sure, we'll try it out. See what, what it is. Interior equipment. Um, you don't want the pedals with black covers because you already chose the MC pedals. Uh, you don't want door sill covers because you already chose the MC door sills. Um, and you don't want the drilled leather uh, for central seat zones because you already chose the Alcantara. You can't do drilled leather in that. So you see the Alcantara package is already added. You can only remove it there. Uh, performance and safety, um, skyhook suspension, why not? That's all they got for that. So now you can kind of see what the car has taken shape into. Let's view the summary and see what it looks like. All right, so that is my dreams, dream spec. 2018 Maserati Gran Turismo MC. That looks pretty crazy. And then here's the interior. You can get a better view of the interior. Now you see better with um, the steering wheel and the carbon around it, all the carbon trim. You can see the new screen in there now. You can see the red dash. And look at the rear. Oh, with that spoiler on the back. That's probably part of the MC package too. Look at that. It completely changed from what it looked like before when we first started to now. What do you guys think? I think that's pretty boss. Um, now, you know, to each his own. So some people might like, not like the spec, but I think it's pretty cool. Um, I know this is kind of, like I said, a different video. I just, with all the hype now that the car is out, I want to see what you can do with it and what you can make it look like. And now I know, and now you guys know. So I wanted to make this video to show you guys that you can go out there on the website and spec your own new um, Gran Turismo or G Gran Cabrio if you want. You can do the Sport, you can do the MC, and this is what you'd come up with, and this is what everything looks like. So, what do you guys think? Um, like I said, now that we know everything about the car, now that we know what has changed, um, do you like it? Do you think it wasn't good enough of a change? Do you guys think that um, you know it's a waste of money because this is probably gonna be a pretty good price? Let's see what the quotation would be. Uh, it's not showing me anything. Oh, sorry, hold on, it's a payment estimator. So, let's just get a quote and see what it says. Yeah, it's still not giving me a quote, so I might need to fill out some things here. But let's just say that this is probably not going to be too cheap. We'll say that. <laughs> so, um, you know, once we get a price of the models that come out um, in, the, in the actual, you know, um, dealerships, then we'll know exactly what some models are. Like I said, a fully spec model is going to be a different price than the models in the dealerships. But what do you guys think? Um, is it worth it? Like I said, it's... Only a couple subtle changes. The engine and the drivetrain are still the same. So with that said, you know, would you spec a new one? Let me know what you guys think. Uh, let me know if you liked the video. Definitely give it a like and um, we'll get it up in the rankings and show everybody that you can spec out one of these. Um, I spec out my dream one. <laughs> we'll see if I end up getting one one day. Or just might wait to see if the Alfa Ferrari comes out and see what my financial situation is like. Um, and definitely comment. Let me know what you guys think. Um, like I said, sorry, I just had to move the camera around and try to hold it as steady as possible around my laptop here. 
Um, but hopefully you guys liked it and definitely um, subscribe if you want to see more amateur Maserati Alfa Romeo news. I'll keep it up for you guys and try to keep everything informative. Let me know what you guys think. We'll talk to you in the next one. Um, I know I got a lot of tabs up there because <laughs> somebody's going to comment on it. All right, guys, we'll talk to you in the next one. Check the social media links below. Till then, peace.